19, post 16. Swindon hoping to finish a point behind their guests with a win. They've never lost to these opponents. Morecambe's faint playoff hopes disappeared rapidly, losing their last four, scoring only once. And the club were deducted three points in that time. What's more, they yesterday released a statement to say players and staff haven't been paid this month. Plenty of shoulder shrugging from the shrimps in recent weeks. Jeb Brannan's boys have suffered defeats in eight of their last ten fixtures. And it's Swindon on the march here. Through McGregor, busy, bright and breezy. And winning a free kick. Foul by Fairclough. Set piece for Swindon. It's really well flighted, and that's the opening goal. Captain Charlie, a cheerful and chirpy Robin on final day. The veteran goal getters, 11th in League Two this season. His first in 10 games, actually. The home side determined to sign off the campaign with a win. They have an early goal. Morecambe's miserable month continues. For the team of Gavin Gunning, goal getting hasn't been a problem. 74 score, but no grabbing of glory due to a leaky rear guard. They conceded 80. And here come Morecambe trying to make that 81. Only Notts County have let in more going into this round of matches. And at least Joe Adams, one of the many changes with the sight of goal. Comfortable save for Bycroft. The visitors relegated from League One last season. Until a few weeks ago, they had hopes of an instant return. Wilting in Wiltshire, they are not. They are showing a little bit of character after conceding that early goal. Maybe they can create something here. It's positive, it's purposeful, and it's fairly slick, is this? They work the ball nicely. Is there a goal at the end of it? There is! It's deflected in. Joe Adams, something to cheer for the Shrimps. They've had a sorry time of things of late, but Adams puts a smile on the faces of their fans. It's only his second senior goal, but they're back level. An eventful opening quarter of an hour here. 1-1. Back-to-back -back defeats for Swindon on the road before this. They have won the last two here at the county ground. But Morecambe, well, they've got themselves an equaliser. Now they're hoping to perhaps get their noses in front. Patient build-up. That's a lovely ball for Fairclough. And it comes back to the youngster, and he scores! A wonderful moment for Adam Fairclough. So sweet for the 16-year-old. An academy starlet, his first start, a first senior goal, and a good news story at last for Morecambe. A glimpse of the future in a worrying present. Take a bow, Adam Fairclough. Well, I don't think Swindon saw this coming. Just goes to show in football, you never, never know. They want the advantage to be more sizeable on the front foot. After an early setback, that's a lovely ball in. And they've just about defended it capably. Cammy Smith causing problems, and then the follow-up shot is high and wide. They actually shared four goals at the Mazuma in September. Already had three here. Keeper not troubled. Tenth meeting between the clubs in all competitions. No Morecambe victory. They've only picked up two points from those past encounters, but they're in the box seat here. 
And you say they deserve to be. Swindon now with space in the middle. Austin's ready. Austin's willing. And Austin's able. He's more than twice the age of the previous scorer in this game, but he's still banging them in. A first half brace for the evergreen goal getter, Charlie Austin. And he's played his part in what has been a terrific first half of football. Well, sometimes on the final day of the season, it's the games you're not necessarily expecting to bring you the thrills that proved to be the most enjoyable. And this has been absorbing, compelling, at times pulsating fair. And Morecambe winning themselves a corner. Left boot, left wing, and not the worst of deliveries. Swindon resilient in the rear guard, repelling that particular threat from the left wing and now they might just be staging a counter-attack that's a neat little flick and they've rapidly turned defense into attack and Williams Kokolo is in the middle whoa end-to-end -end stuff that all came from a Morecambe corner Swindon dealt with it gradually moved the ball up the other end of the pitch and Williams Kokolo converts the home side back in front. This is proving a real pendulum swinger of a game. One way, then the other. It's 3 2 to Swindon. Is there more drama to come? Given what we've witnessed today, you would think almost certainly yes. Some of the passing and movement has caught the eye from both sides. Nicely done for Edwards. Keeper gets a touch, but then it's in! Cammy Smith! His first EFL goal. The visitors have shown tremendous character, resilience and spirit here in trying circumstances, given the few weeks they've had, he hammered that, didn't he? Got some luck, he went through the legs of the defender and possibly the keeper too. Cammy Smith, 3-3. Are there more goals to come, I wonder? Morecambe won to win it, it'll be a famous one. And perhaps they'll have the chance Nicely manoeuvred, away by Swindon, and there is the full-time whistle. Well, Charlie Austin got a couple of goals. Williams Cocolo scored for Swindon as well, but it wasn't enough to get the win. Teenager Adam Fairclough after Joe Adams had leveled, and Cammy Smith got the final goal of the half-dozen. A six-goal thriller in Wiltshire. That was an absolute joy to watch. Swindon three, Morecambe three.